Jump. It's Valentine's Day and Esri's daycare is having their own mini Valentine party in their class. So each parent signed up to bring stuff and I decided to sign up for cookies, mini cookies and chips. So this is what I have here. Um, what is this? Animal Circus cookies in packets and also this mini Oreo. Nutter butter and chips ahoy. And then there's this pirate's booty puffs, also in packets. So hopefully they'll enjoy it. The parents are invited to go join the kids at the class as well. But the party is at 3.30 to 4 o'clock and that's an odd time. And if I leave, as is just gonna throw a, throw a fit. Um, there's also this dance party from 4.30 to, I'm gonna say 5 or 6. Yeah, anyways, um, during that time, I don't think I'll be taking her to the uh, dance party because she's probably too young and there's too many people. So, we'll skip it. And hopefully she'll have a, a lovely time with her friends in class. So, I think that's still something. I'm about to go back to office. <clears throat> I feel really bad for my ex-co-workers at Barnes & Noble that got laid off. It's in the news if you don't know about this, but Barnes & Noble has been laying off a lot of people. They have eliminated important positions from the store. Practically the backbone of the store. So a few days ago, I've noticed a couple of my friends from Facebook posted uh, updates on them getting laid off. Uh, they used to work for Barnes & Noble and this was very shocking to me because the positions, the people that were laid off held 
a top position in the store. They are like the receiving managers, the head cashiers who's in charge, who's in charge of the cashiers, and then there is also the、uh, newsstand lead, as well as the digital lead, which is basically the person that takes care of the nook, and is the most knowledgeable of all the staff in the store about nook. So all the people that held this post were laid off, without any warning. It's just shocking, and I don't really have any contact with them. But if they happen to see this video, I just want to let them know that I feel really bad for them, and if there's anything I can do, even to help you get referred to at my company, just. Leave me a message on Facebook or something, because、um, my company is hiring. If you want something, just to pay the bill and stuff like that, just let me know. Also, my company does pay a little bit better than Barnes and Noble. Yeah, just send me a private message and then I'll let you know what the details are, and I'll do my best. I really don't understand what the corporate people of Barnes and Noble. Was thinking, it saves them millions of dollars, sure. But then they hire somebody that would cost them millions of dollars too. So I don't really know. I don't really understand the strategy behind that. They are also doing a lot of things that doesn't make sense. And I think it's because of those decisions. That's the reason why that hurts the profits and not the staff. That's been working for many years, you know, at the store. So today was Valentine's Day, and Ezri's daycare was having a party, and all the parents、uh, chipped in, provided cookies, chips, and stuff. And in return, I guess each kid got something as well in their cubby. So this was Ezri's、uh, packet of gifts. There's a card. There's this cute little thing here, which I'm not sure what it is, but I'll open it in a short while. There's also a lollipop, which I don't think I will give her because she doesn't know how to eat it. And there's also this weird. Lexi, who's Lexi? Maybe he's it's her classmate. To my friend from Jonah. Huh? I wonder if I was supposed to fill up a similar card. And then there's this googly eye frog thing, <coughs> which she promptly chewed in car. More lollipops. Some M and M's. From another friend. Oh, now I feel bad. Didn't give anything to the friends because we didn't think that it was necessary. And then what's this? Mystery flavor fun dip. I have no idea what this is, but it's, it's from her classmate as well.、Oh, interesting. So that that's the packet of gifts that has we received. The pouch holding some stuff inside, and looks like it's another lollipop. Candy, gummy candy. Hello. Hello. Bye bye. What's your pacifier? What's your pacifier? What's your pacifier? Wash, wash, wash. Got a bit.
Bip. Bip's away. Bye bye. Night night. It's Saturday morning and I'm downstairs sitting at the breakfast table drinking my cup of coffee. Just trying to stay awake right now because I had to wake up earlier than I want to because Ezri is already awake. So anyways, I'm drinking coffee and I'm about to do the grocery list and meal planning. I don't know what to cook today. But later today, we're going to check out the new Korean supermarket that's opening near, um, near where I work. So it'll be interesting. Hopefully they have a lot of stuff that we can buy so that we don't have to drive all the way to MT supermarket, which is like about... 20 miles away. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe not 20 miles. Feels that way. Yeah, I'm gonna check out the new supermarket and then go over to HEB to buy the rest of the groceries. Monday is a holiday for me um, and I'm planning to go see Black Panther. I asked Daniel whether he wanted to go but he said if we were to go together he would rather watch some other movie so it's his loss and I would rather go see Black Panther. So okay. Like a minute ago, so wait. Not anymore. Starting. 